Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Frederick, you know me as Kia Naomi, and we are back in Sweet Transit today. Uh, as you can see, last episode, even though you didn't see the final form of it, actually sorted most of this out. As my printer decides that it's gonna make noises. There, there, printer, go to sleep. Okay, well, yes, so as you can see in the last episode, we actually managed to get the majority of everything up and running here, so we can have almost exclusively diesel trains now, and we're still maintaining a little bit of diesel available here. Uh, we are totally pegged on wood, and we are close to full on stone all the time. Uh, same thing with wood, it drops down every now and then, but not, not consistently. And as long as we are continuously producing here, we're doing all right. So yeah, our biggest issue right now is actually clay. So bricks, which we are not keeping up with at all. And the majority of reason for that is actually right now a lack of workers. Why do we have a lack of workers here? I guess I forgot to set up a specific worker line. So let's fix that. Let's tell this guy to be a type passenger. Then send this guy away, away as well. That should allow us to get a little bit of workers in here and then the rest should be all good. So yeah, what we are actually struggling with here, I did have a look beforehand, and it's actually the uh, coal. We're not getting enough coal as it is right now, we need way more coal. So yeah, that's the plan for today. We are going to get a lot more coal into here, and I did mention in the last episode, I think, that we actually have a quite good place right here for coal, where we have seven coal available. And then we can just ship that over the ca channel here. So I think we can actually build a bridge across this. We cannot. Ooh, we would have to go here then maybe. Yeah. All right then. So this place it is. Four lanes and then we just hook that up to here somewhere. I think we're gonna look into expanding our diesel amount of diesel uh, trains as well eventually because yeah the, a lot of this is just slowed down because these normal trains are super slow if we could just run diesel trains it would be a lot easier with fuel as well but yeah let's start by having our station here built so we want to have this guy right here probably yeah and then we're gonna have a station. Probably one. Oh no. Please give us a control C functionality in this game. Yeah, so we're gonna put down a station here. And then we're gonna run coal from over here as well. You know, you're building a proper long railway when you're running out of 200 grants just building it without even accounting for the trains yeah i want to come up with a little bit of a different intersection where i don't cross lanes at all that would be really nice so far this seems to be the better way to do it but who knows There, go here. Okay, so that's what I came up with. Uh, I don't think it's even remotely close to as compact as our current one. Guess it's not actually that bad. And it's actually way more efficient. Okay. I can buy it. Let's see here, so we would like to have all the way to there, if that's the case. wonder if I can have these kind of do this instead. I think 
think I would like that better. That would make it a little bit more compact. And you will be able to find that intersection in my blueprint book as well. So if you're interested in that, that's something that you will be able to find right there. Um, that should actually cover the majority of what we need for those. How does... Ooh, if I want to go the other way, that's going to be more of an issue. If I come from over here... I didn't think this through, did I? You can only get off in one direction. I thought I did so well. This doesn't work at all. I would need to copy this on the other side as well. Like that. That's annoying. You know what? We're just gonna go back to the previous intersection. This is not gonna work. And you're not gonna find this intersection in the blueprint book. Regardless of what I just said. I'm gonna take my time in between episodes at some point and actually work out a good way to deal with these intersections. At least this one works, so that's something. There, and then these are gonna connect it. And that's gonna have to be it. Yeah, that's gonna have to be it. So we have plenty of money, we're running a little bit low on stone and wood for some reason. Probably because we're struggling a bit with the fuel here. Yeah, we just need more personnel, I guess. We have enough stone, then we're actually dealing with quite a lot of money. Or a lot of fuel. We can produce almost 1,000 fuel at the moment. It's just that we're not keeping up with the, the upkeep. So if I want to upgrade you, how much more do we need? A few more of them. There, get these, 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 and here. One. Uh-huh, that enough to get above 1500? I would really like that, and we also want to uh, get some potatoes over here. I think I'm gonna set up a potato farm, like, over here somewhere. To do that we probably need to adjust this intersection a little bit. So if we get rid of all of this... So like that, gonna have some bridges here, there we go, that works, and skipping over there and then here it just joins instantly, I think that's fine. And then let's see, we want to have somewhere where we can have potatoes and this, so... Probably here, right? We don't need that much potatoes. Maybe we can even fit it here. Or is it potatoes? I don't think we want to do potatoes, right? Potatoes, we said, was not very good. It just increases their peoples. So we want to go for either clothes or bread. Either one works. I guess we can go for clothes then, so we would have uh, cotton, right? That is wood and stone, this is also wood and stone, but this is cheaper. We'll go for that. Yeah boy, this is gonna get real darn good.
That gives us a little bit of buffer as well. We're gonna have one of these be personnel train. Passengers. That's gonna be absolutely grand. I'm using a lot of bridges now, but I think that's fine. I have 53,000 rails in this playthrough and 2,667 bridges. That's crazy. Anything else that we need here? I don't think so. We just need to get some workers over there. At least we're making money now, so let's... No, we're not. We're losing money like crazy. Okay. So you go here. Workers. That's good. Blue. This one is... Whatever that fucking town is called. Get Nyal. You... Uh... What is it called? Button? Workers? That'll be pretty good. 236 grand for one train. That is crazy. So the fuel train that goes here. Where is that? Oh, of course. Stuck in traffic. So why wouldn't you be? Um... You go up here as well. Do you know we actually have fuel standing around here waiting to get processed? How does this look? Be filling up easily? Yeah. No worries at all, even there. So that should be fine. We just need some. There we have it. Please upgrade. Can't. Oh, I don't have the happiness. Okay. Then let's see, let's get some houses in here. What else? What are we complaining about? Unable to travel? Well, that should be easily solved. Someone left a comment about this town. It's apparently a small town. Uh, like 20,000 inhabitants or something. Where do we want that to go? I feel like we already set up one that goes here. Yeah. Why do they say that? Oh, because it's swap workers. There. Solved. <laughs> that should bring the happiness up. Oh, yeah. So let's upgrade you. Fancy pants over here, okay. Now this city should kind of come together. I built it with this in mind that I would be able to expand it eventually. So, let's see here. That's everything into stone roads. Sure thing. That means that we have a lot more personnel going here. And soon enough we will have enough money that we can Let's see here cut some workers yeah we need a little bit more money and then we have enough for the diesel to help them move workers and there we have a train with workers and diesel added to it so and we're gonna have one more of this where we can call it button whatever that fucking name is and we're gonna call it livery be white Ground, load, unload, review, cargo, empty cargo, and, and should be good. Okay, 
So we can produce 40, 80, 120 cotton. Uh, you guys are gonna use clothing shops there and how much do we actually need? So we need Why do I not get a 141? You produce enough people working. Yeah, there is. Should be fairly good. Still quite low on personnel, but expected. Drag you out here. Here, workers a little bit more. We're not making a lot of money, but we are positive, majority of the time at least. Well, we were positive. Damn, this is going super well. Way better than I have any rights for it to go. Now we should have money for this. So you're gonna go on cotton command delivery. Put that on there. Ooh, I don't have anything to store the fuel in here. So I'm driving fuel up here, but I'm not actually storing it. Okay, we're actually having more fuel than what we're consuming now, so things are looking really, really good. How does it look here? Are we actually delivering anything? Yeah, you guys are working. You guys all have enough of this stuff. No, you don't. You actually need even more. Okay. Then let's get you some more. That's a little bit better. time to upgrade these to diesel gondolas instead from depot 2 yes do the same with you no we will not have money for it actually i fucked up i shouldn't have done that oh well i should of course have put it into getting this route up and running well workers that would have made more sense do we have any we don't right New. So we would actually need this guy to hold this stuff. We can't do that because we don't have any stone. And why is that we doing here? Not getting enough stone. We are not producing enough. Even though we are actually full now. How the hell do we use all of that stone? We have 34 stone guys working constantly. Somehow we still don't have enough. That is 34 times 30 at some times. How do you use that much stone? Okay, we're making a lot of money at least. That's good. And... You up and running now? No, because we never put the worker train on. So let's fix that. Let's put the worker train on here. Passenger diesel. Where's my... Do that. These guys should also have these. What if I were to put another station on the other side here? Do have any trains here? Not really. Okay, so we can just literally delete all of this. Not need it anymore. You just go through there instead. 
And let's see if we go there. Still need to fix this intersection because it's a little bit messed up. There. That'll be pretty good. You guys will go this way. There we go. So I noticed that I'm always getting workers just standing around here. So I swapped all of the exports over to here instead. That should avoid that issue. So we should only have workers and pumpjack guys going here now. Should make this a lot better. It's the hope. Uh, we are actually keeping up fairly well with upkeep still. We're a little bit behind on, on the stone. But I think that's because we are lacking a little bit in the fuel department as well. Kind of taking a, a loss in both fuel and stone at the same time, which kind of sucks. And I don't know if I can do that much about it either. We're not producing enough. So fucking weird. Okay, I guess we're out of workers now. At least that's an explanation to what's what's going on here. I think we're using a lot more oil now just because we're refilling all of these cities. Like this guy is being refilled and this guy is going to be refilled there shortly as well. So that's a large part of it. We are losing a lot of money though. Why is that? Anyways, looks like we're actually positive a little bit now again. Uh, we're still keeping up with fuel even though we're not producing very much. Uh, at the moment we're not producing at all. Which is definitely an issue. Okay, well, we uh, did manage to set up the coal at least. Uh, it's not really running full steam just yet. But uh, once we have that up and running so we can maintain bricks all the time. Should be fine with the uh, fuel as well. Then we can look into getting some some uh, guys here working as well. Be ready. Very very interesting. There is some bug here. So if I were to mouse over these travelers right here, it will crash my game. This is unfortunate. Not really what you want to see. But yeah, that's that's the thing. It's something that happens. Anyways, we're gonna wrap this one up here. We've been doing really well, actually. We're still not really keeping up with stone, which is fucking crazy. Like, when they deliver people here, we are doing 37 of these guys. Uh, yeah, we have 35 queries here. And we're still not producing enough. It's kinda crazy. 30 times 35 queries. And this place is still majority of the time empty on stone. Let's do that and then have that. Let's do Yeah, that's enough for a thousand at least. That's the start. And we're positive on cash. We'll have a little bit of fuel here. This guy will actually start going full speed, which is nice. And these guys should not be as impacted by fuel. Because we will have some basic amount of fuel here. No fucking clue what happened there. Okay. Let's see if we can get that back quicker. Good thing is that when we are producing, we are producing at least 500. We can easily get to 1k even if we have a little more stone available to us. It is 910. We can do 980 so we can do even better than that. But yeah, it depends on if we have stone or not. 
still have fuel. No, you're actually out. Okay. These guys are also out. Very quickly running out of fuel here. They all are out of fuel. That's not good. Do we want to have another fuel station like here or something? Then have a city here. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to wrap this episode up. We are way past our time. We have a little bit of struggle with the fuel here, but I think after we made the changes here and with the extra personnel that comes in, I think we should be in fairly good shape. I think we should be in fairly good shape. So I do hope that you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, there is a like button for you to click. I always enjoy seeing your comments down below as well. So uh, thank you so very much. And I want to say until next time. Bye bye, everyone. <laughs>